besides layer masks, you can also create something called a clipping group. And what this does is it creates a mask based on the pixel areas of layers beneath it. In order to add a clipping group, hold down the Alt key and move your cursor in between two layers. You'll then see this little icon appear. Then when you click upon it, that layer is added to a clipping group owned by the layer beneath it. And you can see the arrow pointing to its owner. Then you can see that the red racket is only displayed on areas that exist in the layer below it. I could hold down Alt and click to add all of these other rackets to the clipping group. And then you see that my original racket is the amount that the original racket is moved depends on where those pixels are and the other rackets are displayed beneath. You can remove something from the clipping group by once again Alt clicking the line in between it and the other layers. So, as you can see, clipping groups are interesting ways to copy this information. You can use this as a mask, and now my racket is the overall mask. In the next section, I'll show you how to use the transparency information of a layer as a selection.